Como Show, all the top tunes. Hey, Mulligan. What are you doing? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we give them just what they get in the big house. It's the Joey and Rory Show. Brought to you each week by Crosley Radio. With Wynn Marble, Marcy Gary, Heidi Feek, Bradley Walker, and me. He's her Forrest Gump, and she's his gin. Here they are. Joey and Rory! Sometimes I can do no wrong In one sudden turning I'm barely hanging on when tension's riding high, I play the clown It comes rushing in when our hearts are down This love's a whole lot like a rodeo Round and round and up and down we go Some days it's a bad Sometimes we end up getting hurt We have to dust ourselves off in the dirt But it's worth every fall we ever take Cause now and then we get a ride that's great This love's a home That's a song I wrote with Paul Overstreet. Y'all don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. I'm getting hungry. Let's check. Honey, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at Marcy well, Joe's. Well, I told you I got to get going, but you said, no, I want you here. Yeah, but we got a TV show going, and you're not supposed to be here when we throw over to Okay, them. well, I'm going to go. We're going to go cook, okay? Okay, hurry up. All right. Okay, now. Let's check in down at Marcy Joe's and see what they're cooking today. Y'all come on in. Sit wherever you want. <laughs> so I finally get to talk today. <laughs> So today, we are going to introduce my sister's potato soup, which, 
When I was growing up, we didn't have a lot of money, so mom would make a lot of potato soup. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and what would her potato soup consist of? Um, I mean, like... A lot of ingredients, one, or...? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Three. Oh. Water. <laughs> That's not a lot. <laughs> Water, for us, it was. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. No. No, Mom made a great potato soup, but, you know, Candy, my sister, really, you know, just thought about it and started adding more and more things, and it is a wonderful potato it soup. It really is. It is. Fantastic. And it's got a few steps to it. Okay. Well, let's so just I'm go gonna ahead and get started. So I'm going to let you start right. with what you got in there. All right. First, you're going to take your bacon. You're going to go ahead and fry your bacon up, and you're going to reserve your grease. Right. And you're going to take a whole onion, chop it up nice and diced, add that to your bacon grease and get that so that it's nice and translucent yep. like that. And all that bacon flavor is just going to make this soup even better. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, while that's frying, if you have any leftover baked potatoes from the night before yeah, or something perfect. like that, those are great. But if you don't, go ahead and take about uh, five or six potatoes. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can double your batch to make more if you want. But go ahead and dice those up. You can keep the skin on or skin off. You right. can red potatoes, yellow potatoes, whatever kind you like. Go ahead and cook them a little bit, though. Mm -hmm. So while those are cooking, and you have your onions cooking here, you're gonna add about two-thirds of a cup of flour. Mm -hmm. And this is similar to just making any kind of gravy base. Right, you know, right. We, we do this it's with like our... It's like making a gravy base, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna let the flour cook in with the bacon grease and let mm -hmm. it absorb all that with the onions. This is such a great recipe. Yeah. I'll never forget the first time I went to a restaurant and I saw potato soup on the menu, I'm like, they sell this stuff? <laughs> I'm serious. I did not. I was like. Because you had it so much as a kid. Yes. Like, and I'm like, I am not ordering a potato soup. <laughs> you were sick of it. Yes. It was Aww. crazy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is a great, great, uh, for especially in the winter. You Absolutely. know, if you like making soups, this is a really great one for the winter. And that's heavy whipping cream. Yep. This is heavy cream. So after your onions and your. Um, bacon grease and your flour has kind of made a nice little yeah. gravy base. It's going to so keep stirring up. that. It's going to thicken up. You can turn this on like a medium high heat. Mm -hmm. The next, you're going to start dumping in all the rest of your ingredients. This is the bacon that you got that you had already cooked up, and so you're going to add that uh, in it, and then that's your potatoes mm -hmm. that you've already cooked up. Some potatoes, mm -hmm. and you don't have to chunk them that small. I mean, if you want, that's great, but you can chunk them bigger if you like your You know when we thinner. had Hopi Square Dance? Oh, yeah. For her birthday? Yeah, you made a whole I bunch of that. I made a whole bunch of this stuff. Yeah, I remember that. Hopi loves this. Well, everybody in the family loves yeah. this. And so we've got some chives mm -hmm. that you're going to dump in there. You can use basil as well. Right. Uh, we just happen to have a bunch of chives back there. Parsley. So that. And then garlic powder. Mm-hmm. Lots of garlic. And then pepper. Always add more if you want. Yeah, that's why I put it in here, because she'd use half the jar. <laughs> and then lastly, we got some chicken broth. Now, you can buy chicken broth. And, you know, some people are intimidated at cooking. Right. You know, some people don't know. They're like, oh, I don't know how to cook. I've never been taught to cook. Or my mom didn't cook a lot. Or right. I was just never around. It wasn't something I wanted to do. And so the, the idea of being able to make your own chicken broth, some people mm -hmm. don't realize that all you have to do is just cook a bunch of chicken. Right, and that's what we did this morning. We made mm -hmm. a whole bunch of chicken up, uh, you know, that we use for our chicken nacho soup mm -hmm. or our, you know, chicken salad sandwich. And we just use, always use the broth for something. And so, so that's really great. Continue to cook this on high. It's gonna get nice and thick. Mm -hmm. You're gonna keep stirring it so it doesn't stick. And this is the beautiful dish that you are going to have once yeah, it's all done. Yeah, it is wonderful. And it's going to be nice. And you nice. can add cheese, too. See how if thick you want. that is? I mean, some people can't have cheese, but you can add cheese. Or well, you can put it on the top. If you can't have cheese, you can't have this, because yeah. there's a lot of cream I in know, this bad boy. I know. <laughs> well, let's pull up our taste testers here, Marcy. we got some people that traveled in all oh, the yes, way from Kentucky. Yes. Come on over here, guys. Hi. How are y'all doing? Great. How are you today? Good. 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 Come on in here. Squeeze in here with me. Introduce yourselves to everybody out there in the world of radio, uh, TV. <laughs> I'm Ben. And I'm Diane. Okay. Um, and where do y'all live? In Winchester, Kentucky. Oh, Winchester, okay. Kentucky. Well, nice. So how far of a drive was that? Uh, about 275 miles. And now I understand you've been in Marcy Joe's before. 
Yep, as much as we can. Oh, as much as we can. We're good. good. That's well, great. I don't think you probably ever had the potato soup before because oh, this is something new that we've mm. kind of started. So who would like to do the honors well, of tasting? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a man's dish. <laughs> but it's a, it's a hearty meal. So it you is. can make this. And, of course, soup is always better the mm. second day. Yeah. Really, really tasty. Isn't that, that good? good? Tastes pretty good? That is really good. Well, That's we want to great. thank you all for joining us today. Yes. Thanks and, uh, for coming back. Come back thank and you. see us sometime. We'll all right. Thank Enjoy you. your soup. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> wow, nice couple. I know it. Well, there you go, folks. That is our loaded baked potato soup here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives. One bite at a time. we'd have no vinyl rewind songs at all. So let's thank them by going online and purchasing a turntable, radio, or jukebox. And now performing 455 Rocket, please welcome our very own Joey. <laughs> Baby blue with wire wheels. I took her home the day that she was advertised. They said she leaped when it would rain. Sounded like an airplane, but I knew she was a jewel in the sky. you boys come here to race or just kiss?
Howdy, Pilgrim. Let's check in with Win Barble and see what he has to say today. <laughs> You know, when I was a kid, which hadn't really been that long ago, contrary to popular belief, but there were some people around us that still didn't have indoor plumbing. I mean, the McAfee's down the road. They, they had an old outhouse set out by the creek bank over there. And Joel, a buddy, he hated that outhouse. Said it was cold in the winter and hot in the summer and it stunk. He said, one of these days, I'm gonna push that old thing off in the creek. Well, one day it come big rain, the creek was all swolled up, and Joe got him a pole. He went to rocking that thing, and he finally got it pushed off in the creek, and it floated down the stream there. Well, that night at supper, Joe's daddy said, Joe, did you push that outhouse off in the creek? Joe thought a minute, and he said, yes, sir, I did. He said, well, you'll be getting a whipping after supper. Joel said, well, Daddy, I read in school where George Washington cut down the cherry tree and he told the truth about it and his daddy didn't give him a whipping or nothing. And he said, yeah, but George Washington's daddy wasn't sitting in that cherry tree. Think about it. So I moved to Nashville in this in 1995 with the girls, and um, it was in pretty good shape then, but that's been almost 20 years. Well, I gotta tell you, this thing is rough. I mean, R-U-F-F, -F, rough. My hope is, is maybe you could help me fix it up. We interrupt this program for more important information. Sorry, Rory, but Joey thinks there's a lot of ladies out there who would like to see how the baby shower went. What kind of girl would take on the world by claiming an angel had come? What kind of man would still take her hand Knowing he wasn't the one What kind of love, whatever it was Most people called it crazy But it would take that kind of faith Getting ready for a baby What ugly words They must have heard Whispered as neighbors went by Did they defend The rumors of sin
Everything they went through, getting ready for a baby. Don't forget about what's most important to you. I'm Joey. And I'm Rory. Tune in again next week. Same place, same time.